Who you calling dummy? Dummy. Hello, everyone. And uh, tonight, which is the second review of the night, actually, we're going to be uh, taking a look at Spirit Halloween's Goosebumps movie. This is Slappy's Mask from that movie. Now, those of you who, who are familiar with my channel, I have done a, a couple Goosebumps reviews in my older videos, and I have a quite huge collection of Goosebumps books, and I have a lot of Slappy's Night of the Living Dummy books. So, without further ado, let's take a look at one of my favorite Goosebumps characters. Let's take a look at his mask. So those of you who don't know what Goosebumps is or don't remember it, let's do a recap. So back in like the 80s and 90s, there was a old book series of scary stories designed to creep kids out. And Arl Stein was the author and he really ran with the whole twist ending idea. And Slappy was one of the villains or antagonists of this book series and he appeared in various titles and this is of course not the original slappy this is a mask of the slappy from the movie that recently came out starring jack black but uh so in the in the books and in the movie he, he doesn't have like a mask it's he's more of a puppet made of wood and fabric but this is a good representation of his head which is pretty cool, and the eye holes are hollow, so you can look through his eyes. It gets pretty stuffy in here, and there are padding. There is padding inside of, it, of this mask. Like, let me get this up here. There is padding you can see in there. There is some padding inside of his mask, which is pretty cool. I really like this mask. I got it, like, I think last year. No, I got it, like, two years ago from Spirit Halloween. It's pretty good. And uh, I really saw this. I knew Spirit Halloween made made a, a slappy mask, and until I realized it, which was too late. Oh Jesus! <laughs> uh, dropped it. Um, they made two slappy masks. They made one from the movie and one from the book. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick up the one from the book, or to like to have one of each. But pretty cool. And I think the book one was made was just a half mask. This one was a full mask. But pretty cool. I wish they could have done some like sort of detail on his hair because I know he does have details in his hair. But it's just a mask. It's pretty cool. It's a great thing to, to freak people out. You just need to have a suit. Just get a nice suit with a red bow tie and then you can look like Slappy for Halloween. But really good. It really does resemble Ch um, not Chucky. Sorry, I keep mess trying to say that he's Chucky when he's Slappy. Completely different characters in different scenarios, but he's pretty, pretty uh, creepy. In the books, he's just a cursed dummy, and he wants everyone to be his slave for some reason. He always fails, but he always tends to come back after being brutally destroyed by whoever he's haunting. Pretty creepy, though. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's not much to really talk about. It is a good mask, and I really like it. This is three of the masks now that I own. I own the Freddy one. I own the Slappy one. And I own the dragon one. So yeah, pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoy this review. I mean, it's kind of different from what I usually do. Um, if you guys like mask reviews, let me know. And during this October, I'll be sure to feature more masks in my reviews. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care and happy haunts.